I'm inside the helmet. You can't tell right now, but I'm actually mooning you. Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Power Rangers movie, Red Ranger Helmet. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Let's move the helmet out of the way, because this is quite a large box. You can see right up front, a nice big image there of the helmet. Red Ranger helmet done in silver. You got the movie logo up there in the corner warnings please be careful with this helmet it may kill you i don't know on this side of the box we have a very cool image there of the red ranger i love that that looks so cool on the side of the box we just have a profile shot of the helmet on the top here you have all five rangers on the bottom copyrights and things and stuff on the back of the box your obligatory product shot one size fits most show accurate reproduction even though it's not a show it's a movie but hey premium display stand included and that's basically it for the packaging so moving right along here we have the movie Red Ranger Helmets. And I quite like this. I like the design of the helmets in the movie. I, li I like the suits in general in the movie. I thought they looked cool. I did anyway. <laughs> but yeah, here is the movie Red Ranger Helmet. And um, yeah, very, very nicely done. We're getting close here. You can see uh, all the details here in the helmet, which unfortunately aren't picked out. I mean, if you see the picture on the box, you can see that all these lines are actually picked out in black and on the actual helmet, and you can see they didn't pick any of that out. Um, granted, you could do, you know, a black wash to it if you wanted to and, and, you know, bring those details out, or if you're really, really patient, you could take, like, a thin marker and <laughs> outline all these yourself, but that would take forever, but hey, options. Um, but still, all the detail that is supposed to be there is there. You have some nice gunmetal gray going down the sides here, which is, which is lined in black, which looks nice. There. And the mouthpiece done in a nice dark gray. It's like a dark silver. Looks quite nice. You got some more lining right there in black, as well as down the jawline here. Got some black lining there. And the back of the helmet. Looks pretty cool. Uh, the helmet is very, very open on the bottom, which is nice. So there's no problem getting air in this uh, when you're actually wearing it, as opposed to the uh, Mighty Morphin Red Ranger helmet. That was a bit more enclosed, so it got stuffy in there really quick. But uh, with this one being so open in the bottom, there's actually really no problem getting air in this helmet, which is really nice. Uh, you do, you know, you do have some uh, some slits in here for air. You have slits in here as well as up top on either side of the visor to get air in as well. But like I said, since it's so open, um, no real problem getting air in the, into the helmet when you're wearing it. It's quite nice. And the eyes done in black. He has some black right up top as well. But yeah, pretty cool. And you can open it up, just crack it right down the middle like that. And this part extends here on this flexible piece. And you can see the inside of the helmet. All of this in here is adjustable to fit your size the noggin. This can be, this piece right here can be raised or lowered. This can be loosened or tightened to fit your particular noggin size. And it all just holds together via posts and clips. And you also have these uh, retractable pegs right in here. And you just push it all together. And it all snaps together real nice. Just make sure that that tab goes behind this piece. There you go. Yeah, so pretty, pretty nice. And also included is the display stand, which is just done all in black. And on the bottom here, you have the Power Rangers movie logo done in gold chrome. This looks nice. And you just take the helmet and you just sit it right there. There is a sweet spot for it though, which I have not gotten. <laughs> Basically the sweet spot is, uh, you can see, it's that little square, this little square right here that's molded in. You want that to go into this, so you just have to line that up just right. There you go. And then the helmet will sit straight, otherwise it'll just like fall forward. There you go, there's the helmet on the display stand. Yeah. So there you go. And of course, for comparison, because I'm sure People want to see us side by side. Here it is with the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger helmets. 
so you can see them side by side. So there you go. I like both helmets. I think they're both cool <laughs> in their own way. You know, they both have their own charm to it as far as I'm concerned. I like them both. So there you go. So now what I'm going to do is show you how this looks on my noggin. So let's get down to it. All right, so let's see how this looks on me. So uh, since the helmet is so open in the bottom, I don't actually have to open the helmet to put it on. I can just take it and just drop it on my head. And there you go. And you know, it's a plastic helmet, so it's lightweight. So it does fit comfortably. It's not gonna weigh you down. And um, you know, due to it being so open in the bottom, there's no problem getting air up in here. Um, it's still gonna get stuffy, but it's not gonna get too stuffy, but you will still be able to breathe um, well in this. Um, now, as far as your peripheral vision goes, um, that's pretty good as far as looking up and down. Um, that is a bit hindered, so if you do want to look up, you will actually have to tilt your head up to look up and tilt your head down to look down. But otherwise, your, your vision is, is pretty good. Um, it's basically just like wearing a pair of sunglasses. Everything is just kind of tinted, but you can see fairly well in it. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go fight some crime! Ah! And we're back. So yeah, that that crime fighting thing didn't didn't last too long because people people started laughing. People are mean anyway. So there you have the movie Red Ranger helmet. A very cool piece in my opinion. Like I said, I like the helmet designs. I like the suit designs in general for the movie. So for me, this was a no-brainer. I definitely wanted to have this uh, when it was announced. And um, yeah, very cool piece. Again, this is you know just like the uh, Mighty Morphin Red Ranger helmet. Um, this is, I think, perfect for cosplayers. You know, it's it's definitely more affordable than some of the helmets you'll find online. You know, those, you know, as I, as I said when I talked about the, uh, the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger helmet, a lot of the helmets that you see online on eBay will cost you in the hundreds of dollars. This is $100. Now, granted, you're paying 100 bucks for a plastic helmet that does nothing but be a plastic helmet. I mean, it doesn't do anything but just be a plastic helmet that you put on your head but uh, you know that still might be overpriced for some people and yeah maybe it is like maybe may, maybe for me maybe like the 70 to 80 dollar range might be a bit more reasonable you know i don't think a hundred dollars is totally unreasonable but yeah it could be cheaper but it is what it is but i do feel like this is definitely a uh, a cheaper way of going about uh, obtaining a helmet, you know, if you want to cosplay, if you just want a helmet to display uh, in your collection. I feel like this is definitely a, a more reasonably priced way of going about it. Because uh, the helmets you see online, like I said, can cost into hundreds of dollars. And the ones that actually are reasonably priced do kind of look like crap. <laughs> so it's basically, you get one that is an exact replica, and it's not that expensive. Still on the pricey side, but not so expensive that it's, you know, in my opinion, totally unreasonable. It really all depends on your personal sense of value. If you feel this is worth $100, then it is. If you don't feel it's worth $100, then it's not. It really just depends on you. But it doesn't change the fact that this does go for $100. That is the retail price. That's how much I picked it up for at Toys R Us. So that is the going price. If you can get it cheaper, by all means, get it cheaper. Um, but yeah, all in all though, um, I dig it. I like it. I like the design. Like I said, I said a couple times already, I like the design of these helmets, I like the design of the suits in the movie. So I definitely, for me, for me, this was a no brainer picking this up. So that, yeah, go. Now I picked this up at my local Toys R Us. You can start checking your local Toys R Us's or check ToysRUs.com. I will assume they will be carrying these as well. Uh, you can also find these at BigBadToysStore.com. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Power Rangers playlist for any reviews you may have missed also linked in the description down below so check that out as well and i think that's it so don't forget to check out m games check out lori plan follow me on twitter all of that good stuff down in the description below and i think that's pretty much all there is to say so there is the power rangers movie red ranger helmet and this is mgo saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing big geek be proud palm in your face